Yo guys, how are we all doing? Yes, we are back with another video and this trick is super fun. You won't expect it, very easy to do, and this trick can even be kept in your wallet. So all that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the performance, guys, of the effect. So for this trick, okay, give me a quick shuffle as well. For this trick, I'm going to take out 12 cards, okay? So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. We don't need the remainder, just 12 cards. And I'm going to give these a shuffle, okay, just like so. So this is actually mixing the cards up. Basically, it's like a pharaoh shuffle. Okay, I'm just going to give these a quick shuffle. It's the easiest way to shuffle the cards when you have a small packet. Okay, and I'm going to show you as well that these are actually 12 cards. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are only 12 cards in play. And as well, you will need a spectator here to help you. Debbie's just gone out to the shops, so she cannot help me. Um, so I will play Debbie's part. So I will say to Debbie or whoever's here, uh, do you want to switch packet? I can use this packet or do you want to use that packet? Let's say they want to switch to be very awkward. You say, what I want you to do is copy me, okay? So I want you to deal a card and place one under. Deal a card, place one under, deal a card, place one under, deal a card, place one under, deal a card, and I'm left with the nine of diamonds. Let's see what they will be left with. So they will deal the card, place one under. It's actually randomizing the cards and they're left with the uh, six of spades. Very fair, very two random cards. I would say to them, would you want to swap piles or do you want to keep it? Let's say they are being awkward and they want to swap. Fair enough, it's your life. I would say to them, I want you to spread the cards and take the second card and the fourth card. Okay, so they will do that. They will take the second card and the fourth card. I would say take them out and then turn them over on top, which they will. And I'll do the same here. And I'll say, do that again. So take the second card and the fourth card. Okay, and this is actually mixing the cards up even more. The second and the fourth, they will go over. We'll do it one more time. Okay, do it for the last time, the second and the fourth, and then give them a cut. They will do that. So they'll do second and the fourth, and then give them a cut. Very, very fair. So let's take a look what I left with. Wow. Coincidental or what? My favourite card, the Four of Hearts, and they're left with the Ace of Clubs. Is that your favourite card? If it was, you've got a miracle to hand. So if you think about it, you've got the Four of Hearts, the Ace of Clubs, the Nine of Diamonds, and the Six of Spades. From their decisions, from randomising the cards, from shuffling the cards, these are the cards they're left with, which means nothing to us. We've got a Six. If you do the Four Aces or the Four Jacks or the Four whatever, it would have been a pretty good trick. But... I made sure that there was actually, in fact, a perfect match. All red cards. So that is the trick, guys. This is super easy to do. You can even carry this as an everyday carry. Just have 12 cards, like so. Put these in your wallet, and you can do the trick anytime, at any place. So I could do that trick right now just with these 12 cards. So all that being said, let me show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here is a tutorial of the effect, guys. So what you want to do is remove four red cards from a different colored deck. Okay, so I'm using the red cards and I'm using the blue deck. Okay, but whatever these cards are, you need to remove these cards from your deck of cards if you're going to do it this way. Okay, if you're not and you're going to, you want to keep this in your wallet, I will show you how to do that as well. So remove the cards. So I'm using these. These are just random cards. I chose random cards. Make sure... These cards are removed from the deck, and these cards will go on top, like so. You're ready to begin. So that's the setup to the trick. So now we have the setup, okay? What you're going to do is you can, you can spread the card to show most of them the blue. Don't go right to the bottom and show this, okay? That's the worst thing you can possibly do. So you can say, look, we're going to show you a trick with a deck of cards. Turn them over. And you need to drop the top four cards on first, okay? Or you can do them singly. So one, two, three, four. But usually, because I know what cards they are, I know I can just go to my four red cards, drop them down when I'm counting to 12. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 
If you don't want to do it that way, like I said, what you can do is you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can deal with the singles. The only thing is you just need to make sure the red cards are at the top. Okay? So you can, again, for the last time, you're probably thinking, Brandon, we understand. You probably do. So I go, I'm gonna, we need 12 cards for this trick. So I spread four. They're the red cards. And then go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Don't need a remainder. Okay, so now them red cards are at the top. If you want to do this trick, it's in your wallet, okay? So bring these out, take your wallet out, okay? Bring the cards out of your wallet and spread a few cards. So I'm going to show you a trick with these blue cards. I've got 12 cards. I'm going to show you. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or you could just deal them down singly if you wish. So you can say, bring them out of your wallet. So look, I've got 12 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now them red cards are at the top. That's what we need. So now what's going to happen is we're going to do the reverse pharaoh. And all that is you pull one card down, one card up, one card down, one card up, just like so. And for a magician, we know what's happening. For a layman, that's mixing the cards up. You're going to take all the cards out. I just spin them around and place them on the face. And you do that again. So one card down, one card up, one card down, one card up, just like so. So at this point, I was saying to the spectators, look, I'm going to give these cards a random shuffle. You can see the cards getting mixed up. And I take them out and then place them on the face. So the situation is like this at the moment. Okay, that's the situation. You don't turn the cards around and show them that because that's the worst thing you could possibly do. Uh, so again, the only thing is with this, you have to deal the cards out again, okay? So I'm going to say, look, I'm going to show you, I only have 12 cards, and I deal singles, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you will have to deal these cards as well as singles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I will say to the spectator, which packet do you want to choose? They can choose any packet. It really doesn't matter. Let's say they want this packet. But before I show you, I'm going to show you where the red cards are. You've got one at the face, and then one, two, three, four, one at fourth position, and you're in the exact same position here. Your ace is a red, and the next one is in fourth position from the face, from the back. Okay? So I say to them, which packet do you want to use? Let's say they want this packet. I'll say pick your cards up, your packet up. And deal a card down to the table, which they will. And it's the down under. Now, that's all we're doing. So you put deal a card down, the next one goes under. Then it goes down, it goes under. Down, under, down, under, down. I know that's a red card, okay? When they do that, they were doing that at the exact same time. So down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. That is a second red card. Okay? So they don't know that, obviously. And I'll say, do you want to keep your pilot or do you want to switch? Does it matter? It really doesn't matter. Let's say they want to switch. So now I say, I want you to spread the cards. And I want you to take the second card, okay? And when I do this, when I say take the second card, they will be watching me. And I will up jog the second card. Okay, if they go here, it doesn't matter. Okay, because that's the card we need. So I'll say take the second card, but usually they will they will copy what you're doing. They will up jog a card and take the fourth card. Okay, and then take these cards and turn them over. And they will do that. So they will take the second and the fourth card and then turn them over. And this is what I like because you're seeing blue loads. So always seeing blue. And you've got to do that three times. So that's once. You take, do the exact same thing. You take the second card and the fourth card. Take them and turn them over. And in the spectator's mind, they are mixing the cards. And you're saying to them, look, you're mixing them face up to face down. The third time, you tell them to do that. Okay. And what's going to happen now is the only card what's going to be face up is your red card. Okay. They're going to do the exact same thing. 
take a second on the fourth card. They're going to turn them over. And at this point, I will say cut the cards, okay? It doesn't matter where they cut the cards. It's a red card. That's all we're bothered about. So you cut the cards, and then I spread. And I say, okay, so what have you got? You've got an ace. Oh, it's a brilliant card. I've got a nine. And you act a bit confused because you're like, well, it doesn't mean anything like it's like what what do these cards represent what do these cards mean and they're like right okay and you say look this was a fair choice you we shuffle them you mix them up as well and because obviously you're doing it to a spectator they're going to believe everything you're saying and then at this point say look it doesn't mean no sense but the thing is you actually managed to hit and you just turn them over every red card just like so like i said in the performance at the end if you've got a dickhead, oh, my apologies, sorry, if you've got a annoying spectator uh, but, and you will follow along, you can have a rude word on there. You could uh, you could, you could, have a name on there. So if you know you're going to perform someone who has a four-letter name, you can go, and the crazy thing is, I've got, I don't know, D-A-V-E, Dave, or I don't know, B R A N brand. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It, you you use your imagination where you can take this. Uh, but yeah, it's a very fun trick. And like I said, you can keep this in your wallet and the set and it's all you can set it up straight away. You've done the trick. All you've got to do now is take the cards, put these to the bottom, and you can do it again. That can go into your wallet or back at the bottom of the deck and do the trick. But if you're gonna put it in your wallet, put it in your wallet when you want to do it again. Just make sure you count the first four cards off and then carry on, okay? Like so. So they're at the back and then you're ready to go. But that is the tutorial, guys. Hopefully you follow along fine. Hopefully it works for you. I love this trick and hopefully you do too. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, a very fun, easy card trick to do. Like I said, these cards can go in your wallet and you're ready to perform anytime, anywhere. Like, if you are wanting more easy card tricks like this, please let me know down in the comment section and I can do more for you. Or if you want anything else completely different, if you want it moves, uh, controls again, anything, let me know. Let me know. Give me some ideas. Give me ideas. So, you know what to do, guys. Please hit that like. Please hit that subscribe. And also turn the notification bell on. I'll see you next time.